guys, Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. I wanted to make a quick video letting you guys know that the skeleton stock was nerfed yesterday, uh, even though that it was not mentioned in the patch notes. I had seen a lot of grumbling kind of about this on Twitter, some grumbling on Reddit and some other forums, but I was not sure if it was just players grumbling or if it was actually a true thing. Because as you can see right now in the description, it only shows aim walking movement speed and aim down sight speed. It also used to have a third perk, which was just overall movement speed. I thought maybe it was just a visual bug, but it has been confirmed. Exclusive Ace has done testing, so I'll give him all the props for the percentages and the numbers and things like that. I will link his video down in the description so you guys can see it for yourself. I was going to go ahead and make this video, but I was just trying to make sure or confirm that it was a real thing before I made the video. But now that he has confirmed it with testing, of course, that gave me a little bit more confidence to go ahead and let everybody else know and pass on this information that this has been uh, nerfed and it was not mentioned. So this is pretty much a ghost nerf. That's what I call them. Everybody has something, you know, different that they call it. But a lot of games do ghost patches. I've played tons of different games where they will update things and change things without ever telling anyone. And this was definitely one of them. Now, the gun still does have aim walking movement speed and aim down sight speed, which are both very nice. And this is an attachment that is not on very many weapons. The thing, of course, that is missing is that movement speed. The movement speed bonus that you received before the patch or before yesterday's 1.12 update was 8 to 9%. So if you were using this on something like the AK, which I have it on here, when you were using this on the AK, you got an 8 or 9% movement speed bonus, which pretty much puts you in the same category as a submachine gun movement-wise. So with that, plus aim down sight speed with aim walking movement speed, it made this attachment one of the best attachments to run if it was on a certain weapon. Like I said, it's only on a few weapons, but if it was on a weapon, you definitely need to be running the skeleton stop because it was that strong. It was that overpowered, really. Uh, it, it was definitely uh, a great attachment to use. It was one of those attachments that's you know only on a couple weapons. There's a few guns in the game that are like this that have specific attachments that are just made for those few weapons. And those attachments usually are the thing that needs to be run on that weapon. You know what I mean? It is that good that it needs to be run because it's unique to a certain weapon. Now that they have removed this movement speed, you can tell a difference. It, it kind of, it's kind of a shame that they have taken off the movement speed considering it's supposed to be a special, you know, special kind of attachment. This is a, a thing that's not on a lot of different weapons. I kind of hate that they have taken it off. I was hoping maybe this was just, uh, you know, a fluke. It was not supposed to be done. And maybe that will be added back. But as of right now, just know that the skeleton stock has been nerfed. We have not heard anything from uh, Infinity Ward of why they have done this. Nothing in the patch notes. So maybe they'll say something in the next couple days. But it is kind of a downer because the skeleton stock for, for that movement, you know, for that movement bonus was really worth using. Now that they have taken that away, Exclusive Ace did, like I said, did, did do a lot of testing with this. He said the aim walking movement speed has had an increase of almost 5%. So when you're ADSing, you're still moving quickly or moving quicker than you were. And of course, you're still getting that aim down sight speed. But in my opinion, I would rather have it back to where it was with the three, you know, pros and the one con instead of just aim walking movement speed and aim down sight speed. So leave me a comment, guys. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, like I said, ghost patches happen in all games. I kind of hate that they do. Maybe we'll get some more information about this later. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you have time, share the video. It does help out the channel a lot. Click the bell icon at the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And also check out GT Racing. They sell gaming chairs and office chairs. All their information is linked down in the description. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.